What about the Limerick final this weekend? Uh, you'd forget that there's such a classic game coming up here. Kilmalik against Patrick's well. A battle of two Clare managers with John O'Mara over six mile bridge or of six mile bridge against Tony Considine, who's over Patrick's well. Yeah, and I believe this is Tony Considine's uh, second spell with Kilmalik. He trained them early uh, in the last decade. I think when they won a couple of t- couple of titles, and I think he, I think he, I can't forget whether he was manager when they got to the All Ireland Club final. I'm actually not sure, but he came back. He's after coming back. I think he came back last year. So you know, when someone it doesn't, you don't hear of that too often actually at club level uh, about another a manager coming back. Well, it's fair enough. Padre Whelan did it with us, but I wouldn't have heard of it too much. Of lads coming back to a club, they generally just keep to keep looking on and look look elsewhere. But uh, that's going. It's going to be an intriguing final and. To be honest, like not one you would have predicted, because Kilmanic weren't going particularly well. No. Uh, they were beaten handsomely by Napierstig at the start of the championship. They scraped over South Liberties after extra time, and I said this in one of the shows recently. If you looked at those quarter finals when uh, the Wells scraped over Adair, scoring the last five points to beat them, I think they were I was was it eighteen fifteen going into injury time, and they won twenty eighteen. Kilmanic scraped over South Liberties, and then you, you're not thinking that both are going to produce. Big enough, not upsets, but Dune and uh, Napierstig would have been favoured to prevail in two semi-finals, and the two of them produced massive, massive performances. So, yeah, it's a fairly finely balanced final, I have to say. And going down through the teams, if you go down through that Kilmallock team, there's a wealth of experience there, probably more experience, I'd say, uh, from their elder statesmen than on the well side. You've Graham Mulcahy, obviously, who's still going with Limerick, Gavin O'Mahony, uh, Paddy O'Brien, then they've Aaron Costello and Robbie Hanley who will be in with Limerick as well and they've uh, Barry Hennessy in goals and Oshin O'Reilly who was on the Limerick panel in 2018 and then going down through the, the well like she, I'm sure you go through it here now the spine is phenomenal really Yeah, Brian Murray, former All-Star goalkeeper Dermot Burns at centre-back Keane Lynch whether he's centre-forward or in or own midfield or jumping between the two Aaron Glan in the forward line, forward line. Kevin O'Brien's obviously an excellent player. Jason Glan has really stepped up in this championship. They've got a lot of class. I think there's a couple of positions where they're probably a little bit ropey and can be got at. Whether Kilmallock can do it, who are in their first final since 2017, is the next thing. Oshin O'Reilly, who you've mentioned already, he scored 2-4 the last day. Man of the match in that semi-final win over Dune. And I'm wondering, is he sort of um, making John Kiley think, well, maybe what, what can this guy offer next year? But it certainly has the makings of a very, very tasty Limerick final. I think it's going to be on TG Cahar as well, isn't it? Give it yeah, it is indeed. We didn't actually mention um, Michal Houlihan as well with Kilmallock. Jerome O'Connell was on earlier on the year, uh, basically singing his praises as well. So he's another guy that would be maybe trying to kind of burst his way into the mix. Into the mix, And uh, it's funny, Patrick's well have four All-Stars on their team. And like outside of... Brian Murray, Keane, uh, Keane Lynch, Dermot Burns, and Aaron Gillan. Outside of maybe Ballyhale Shamrocks, there's not too many more club teams that are going to have four All Stars playing on their team. Uh, offhand, other teams that are playing now that are still in the Championship. Again, outside of Ballyhale, who'd have Fenley, Reid, and uh, Joey Holden. And I could be wrong. Have they got a fourth All Star playing at the moment? They have a young herder of the year in Adrian Mullen, but I don't know if they have a fourth All Star and another young herder of the year in Owen Cody but I don't know I can't think of too many teams that have four All-Stars playing and um, one of our viewers might correct me yeah that's an interesting one get your comments in uh, if, you, if you've if you got the answer to that if you enjoyed this piece of content please follow us on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the page which helps the channel grow and if you want audio podcasts go to patreon.com forward slash our game